Good afternoon, I'm Paul Smith and I'm going to be telling you why you should buy Nipex pliers. Today I'm going to be uh, presenting Nipex 8801 250s, also known as Nipex 10 inch alligator pliers or their water pump pliers. Things to watch during this presentation will be the key points will be design, functionality, and usability. Today I'll be comparing Nipex to the uh, Channel Lock 420 10-inch pliers, which are commonly used. On the left here, you have the Nipex, German engineered, and on the right you have the Channel Locks, which are made in the USA. These are very common pliers to be used, the ones on the right. Nipex are 20% lighter, and if you're me, and you carry them around all day at work, it's very important. Um, if my pliers are lighter, then I'm lighter and I'm able to be on my feet longer. So a 10 hour shift is a lot easier when you have lighter tools in your pockets. And if my tools are too heavy, they'll actually rip my pockets. So 20% lighter is a big deal for me. A uh, very large uh, factor to Nipex is that they have a wider mouth than the channel locks. This allows you to use them for more uh, applications. For example, a Nipex plier can grab a two inch pipe where a channel lock cannot. Here's an example of a Nipex grabbing a, a union. As you can see, Nipex has four points of contact. It's very good points of contact. Where the channel locks only have two. Here's an example of Nipex grabbing a nut, a one and a quarter inch union, and a channel locks grabbing the same union. As you can see here, the Nipex still have four points of contact, where the channel lock actually only has one solid point of contact. The second point on the bottom here is actually pretty iffy. Well, this can be a problem because that's how you ruin your pliers. When you have a poor grip and it slips, it actually rounds the teeth and your channel locks or Nipex will never grip the same. So because Nipex is designed better and has more points of contact, they'll actually last longer because they do not slip as much. Also, Nipex have a uh, more narrow head than channel locks. Well, this can be uh, a good advantage. For example, you can grip in smaller areas. Uh, if you've ever done any plumbing, you know how important it can be to get a narrow head. Um, also, you can do more acute work because of the narrow head because you can grab cotter keys when working on machines. Or if you're welding, you can use the narrow point as a chipping hammer and chip the flux off. Here's an example of some narrow work where Nipex are able to jam two narrow nuts together where a channel lock is unable to do that because the wide mouth grabs both of the narrow nuts. And then you could not jam the two together. Here's an example of some plumbing where the Nipex is actually able to grab the threads and the channel locks are too wide and you would not be able to tighten one union. You'd actually have to twist both of them, which could be a problem. Now I would use a comparison for the crimp ability, but channel locks can't even crimp. So this one's all Nipex. If you're like me, you're an electrician, it's important to have a tool that can also crimp. If I didn't have a tool that could crimp, I have to also cr carry that with me. So, Nipex being able to crimp actually allows me to carry an entire less tool. Here we have um, a uh, wire in here being crimped right in the jaws. It fits perfectly. You get a very strong crimp, and that's a that's a very solid crimp. You'll see that will that'll last forever. A big advantage for Nipex is that the handles never come together. Now, this is my favorite because if you've ever been pinched by a pair of channel locks, you'll understand. The Nipex, because the handles never come together, they can't pinch you. Also, it allows for maximum power gripping. Because the handles never come together, the handles never prevent you from squeezing. An example of that would be, these would be the commonly used channel locks. When they're fully closed, 
you have the gap, which allows you to get maximum power and it won't pinch your hand. But you open it up only one step, and suddenly the base of the handle comes together. This creates a pinch point, which can be extremely painful, also known as the pinch factor. Nipex, on the other hand, are superior because when the handle is fully closed, like this, you have a gap, as well as one step where the channel locks would normally come together. But the channel locks, they can go fully open and the handle still does not come together. Now that's German engineering. There's no pinch factor with Nipex. Nipex are self-locking. Now, there's been many patents and uh, a lot of technologies gone into pliers which lock. We've all seen them. You've got your vice grips with the mechanical, with the mechanical screw and all the mechanisms and their heavy pliers. As you can see, there's many moving parts. Nipex have defeated it. You don't need them anymore. As you can see, this is me standing on two pairs of Nipex, which are crimped down on a pipe. This is merely done by the leverage created. So after this presentation, I urge that you go run to Sears or your nearest hardware store and buy a pair of Nipex. Um, I was able to purchase my Nipex for $20.99 at Sears. Uh, they are more expensive than their competitor, Channel Lock. Uh, Channel Lock can be purchased for $13.99. But, as you've seen, there really is no comparison. NIPEX, German Engineering, is the best. Thank you.